Matthew chapter number 6, verse number 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let's look at that from the complete Jewish Bible. You therefore pray like this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. We can find here, Christ is giving an example of how to pray, given the abuses to prayer in the preceding verses. He starts out with, first of all, acknowledging our Father. God is our Father, which is in heaven, the supreme creator of everything the exalted one, the self-sustaining one, the self-existent one. And then he moves on to, may your name be kept holy. You can read Leviticus 10 and 3. That's where Aaron's two oldest sons, after they had just been anointed priests, offered up strange fire before the Lord. Unauthorized fire. Nobody told them. God didn't tell them. Moses didn't tell them. They did it on their own. And God let fire proceed it out and destroy them. And God said how he will be sanctified in them. And then there's so many other scriptures about magnifying the name of the Lord and blessing the name of the Lord. Psalm 72, 18. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And it's verse after verse that talks about the name of the Lord. In fact, if you go to Exodus chapter number 20, you have the Ten Commandments. And the third commandment itself, ye are not to use lightly the name of Adonai, your God. Because Adonai would not leave unpunished someone who uses his name lightly. God is holy. God is so holy to his very name is holy. God names carry power and authority. You see, God knows if you don't respect his name, then you don't respect the person. If you speak lightly of someone's name, then you speak lightly of the person. And God is so righteous, so reverent to his name. The scripture says, even at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. The scriptures talk about how demons were cast out in the name of Jesus. Jesus gave us power of attorney to use his name. So therefore he is teaching us the first step is to respect the name of the Father. Because if you use God's name lightly then you will not go unpunished. God we bless your name we bless your name. We bless your name, Father. We reverence your name and we give you all the glory that's due to your most wonderful name. Be glorified and be magnified. There is none like you, everlasting one. There is none that compared to you, Holy Father. We praise you and we exalt you. Thank God.